This is Adrian Manns. If you'd like to learn more about the strategy we'll be discussing today, you'll find all the details in my new book, Trade Secrets, Powerful Strategies for Volatile Markets. It's available with free shipping at TraderInsight.com and Amazon.com. You can also order from your local retailer. The best trader education anywhere, only from TraderInsight.com. For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and it's time for another two-minute strategy session. Today, I want to talk about a situation where price action in the correlated sector confirms your bias on the stocks and sectors on the radar setup and provides you an opportunity for an early entry on a counter-trend reversal off of a floor trader pivot. This is a great way to turn what would be a scalp setup into a big gainer, and today's setup in Ace Limited is a really great example of what it is that I do with these when I get this opportunity. Now, don't let the chart series on the price axis mess you up here. This is a rescaled chart since I'm doing an overlay rather than having two separate windows open as I usually do in my own trading. But I want you to be able to see what it is that I'm talking about. When Ace opened for trading in the morning, it was uh, gapped lower and it quickly started moving higher. The correlated index, the insurance index, on the other hand, started moving down as soon as the market opened and kept its directional bias all through the trading day. Now, what we're interested in is this quick move that the stock made to the upside when it tried to get through the pivot line at $69.16. Pivot reversals in general provide a great intraday trading strategy, but when you have a daily setup like the infield fly we had last night on ACE, and you have sector confirmation from the index that the stock is most highly correlated to right out of the gate, even as the stock tries to fade the momentum, you've got what makes for a pretty good setup. What I look for to time an early entry is a strong push counter trend to the move we were expecting on the session, followed by a pause and reversal at an intraday floor trader pivot line. The first thing I do when I see this is take a look at my correlated sector, in this case S&P Insurance. I see that it's selling off and moving lower. It's trying and failing to gain some upward momentum at this level that defined intraday support and resistance yesterday. That gives me the opportunity to short ace at about 69.10 on a violation of the blue floor trader pivot and the low of the bar that made the highest move in the series right off the opening bell first thing in the morning. Now really, once the position's on, Ace doesn't give us any reason at all to exit this trade as the stock begins a pretty orderly sell-off right away and the index continues to move lower throughout the session. Now knowing that our entry was going to be $68.53 on this one gives us every reason to anticipate that this is going to be where the stock finds support on its way lower and in fact that's what it does. Just down below the green pivot, we see a reversal move back up to that S1 level and a reversal of all these closes and that along with the magnitude of this move which went not only from the R1 level down to the central pivot but it made an additional move down to the S1 level and generally speaking a two pivot move can be a really good place to start looking for an exit and waiting for another entry to come along. This magnitude of a directional move really tends to be constrained on either end by these pivot levels since a lot of people are watching them and they tend to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. There are many techniques that can be used to extend the profit potential of the stocks and sectors on the radar setups. This is just one of them. We will definitely talk about a few more in upcoming strategy sessions. For now, I'm Adrian Manns, and for TraderInsight.com, this has been a two-minute strategy session.